Hello everybody, and welcome to episode 4 of the Darkness Falls series. And in today's episode, we have a couple things that we could do. I think what I'm going to prioritize, however, is questing for more XP. Of course, we can get that from the horde of zombies that seems to appear every time that we reload into the world. But I think questing is going to be the optimal method. Because we can slowly gain access to infested clears, which means ammo. While we don't have a gun yet, doesn't mean we shouldn't be stockpiling. Rough life, buddy. Let's see, food and water? You know, this is actually doing pretty well. We have to eat the smaller stacks of things. But things are being managed in a sensible and timely manner. Doesn't seem like we're going to be starving or dehydrating anytime soon. As long as we keep filling up these clay bowls, we'll be fine. Gotta be putting these dried orange slices in a chest because they only give three food per, well, consumption, which is pretty tiny. So we'll save that for emergency situations and put it in a chest for now. I don't want to have to sit here and literally waste time eating them. So we'll put those away. Let's see, we don't need these because we're specking into bladed weapons. So we'll put the scrap iron fire axe right there. And at least for now, until we run out of repair kits, the scrap iron pickaxe will go in there. Keep it in a chest tucked away doing chest things also i have a club on my hotbar that doesn't need to be there we'll figure out what we're gonna put there later if we can get a good gun it'll probably be that and i think oh it looks like they took out a wall at the trader's place rude wait why why would they do this what the also it looks like they broke the one block and it took out a huge section. Does that mean that I could potentially build that wall? Let me check. If I unselect this and I type in wall, cube centered, shanty wall, wall stand. No, we can't make those. That's a dev only kind of thing. It's too bad. I wouldn't mind. Even if it has less health, if we can, we didn't have to get a quest from the trader. That means we can just go straight to the fun part. And so we shall. Off to the quest we go. We have plenty of food and water should be good for this little trip. The computer could stop stuttering. It seems like these compo packs in the maps have a pretty intense effect on the frame rate. What's up, biker man? Feels good to be able to attack multiple times without worrying about my stamina. Imagine. Let's go ahead and grab some more water and get out of here. Every time I grab from that, there's, I don't know, a batch of zombies or something down there that gets pissed off, but I guess this time they're asleep. They're busy. Let's make sure to grab any mailboxes on the way. Don't stand too close to any of the buildings because the player-made POIs usually get upset all at once. They love to throw entire hordes at you, which is awesome, I think. The whole situation over with quicker. Man, my giant just hitching left and right. Maybe I will have to drop the graphics. Not that it matters, this game isn't exactly a beaut. It's not a masterpiece for its looks, it's a masterpiece for its gameplay. And again, I am entering a new area, so I guess it's kind of expected. Somewhat. Barely. It's a little much. Nah, someone in the comments had mentioned that it would be a good idea to invest in the bladed weapons crafting, and I agree, because this will also affect the spear. So, there's that. Good old bladed weapons enhancement. Now when I repair, it shouldn't go below level 20, at least as far as I know. Wondering if it would be better to just make a stone spear and spec into that now. Might be a good idea. Hold on, let me check. Spear. What kind can we make? We could make an iron spear if we get arrowheads? Really? Arrowheads? Yeah, but then it would take repair kits. I think we could do this. We just have to make scrap iron arrowheads, which, uh, do I need a forge for that? Nope. Craft one now. Scrap iron spear. We'll go ahead and just spec into spears now. Why not? Here's what we want. We want to at least achieve level 40 in bladed weapons. 10 levels to go. Makes it so power attacks can penetrate through targets, allowing you to hit up to three enemies with a single power attack. That is the end game here. Now that we have that, which also just repairs with normal iron, we can get rid of the machete. Actually, no, we'll keep it for now, at least, so that we can use it to harvest bodies. I think it is superior to the spear when it comes to that, at least. Mailbox in the middle of the street. Now let's see how this thing serves us. Left click. Man, that's got range. Mad range. Of course, these guys do too. Spitting fellas. I gotta remember that it has more range than everything else. I don't have to get as close to everything. Just gotta use a couple more brain cells than normal until it's cemented in my memory. Let's go ahead and beeline straight for the quest. Hey, businessman. This looks like a trailer park. What are you doing here? Ooh. Ooh, this thing seems pretty good. I very rarely use spears in this. Let's see, we have 112 stamina. That brought me down to 98. Did one power attack? So I don't think, if 
I sit here and hold right click. Yeah, there's no way I'm going to maintain being able to power attack the whole time until we're maxed out or something. But we can still do some things. Let's go ahead and grab this yuka. It's just a free eight food sitting around. Rag open this truck. What do we have inside? Forge your head. Mmm, tasty. I think, oh yeah, it's not like vanilla. That means that that gave me, where's the perk for it? Forge your head, right here. Oh, I've already got all three of them. I've got three of these perks, but they all have requirements. If you hover over the red check mark, it says requirements not met. In the menu, it says level requirements. You have to have tool crafting two and player level 15. So I have to put a few points into tool crafting to get access to this stuff, which is fine. We'll mess with that at some point. Let's go and initiate this quest. If I attack this with a spear, yeah, that's terrible. Looks like we will want to keep at least one machete on us. Now, is this door? Oh, this is a zombie that just spawned in at my feet. How's it going, bud? Should I, um, yeah. I think this is a clear, so I gotta kill him. Let's unlock this. Nightstat gives us a good old bandana. Seems like a small house should be pretty quick to clear. Yeah, I think all around this thing is more efficient than the machete. It's <laughs> Somebody else had pointed out in the comments that I've been breaking down these unlocked doors. And listen, man, look, they barred it up. Somebody's walking around town, barring up these doors, and it's working on people like me. Ooh, two power attacks seems to be enough to clear them. Of course, until I get more bladed skill, then it'll be one. I hear what sounded like another zombie out there. Athletics notes. Awesome. Bladed weapons? Sure. I mean, it's like that bookshelf was made for me. Let's go upstairs. Ugh, this door is also barricaded, but unlocked. I'll have to keep it in mind. Just stab that man to death, like you do. I guess we could sell that ball cap mod. Don't we have a wrench? Yeah, we do. Boom. Money. That's basically what that translates to. Springs. I don't think I'll be needing them anytime soon. Oh, another zombie in the bathroom. Weird that they're not waking up when they, well, when I enter the room. What's in the toilet? More turds. Delicious. It's clear not finished yet. What did I miss? Is there even anything more? It's such a- oh, here we go. Little porch. Do I have to go up on the roof? Is that what's, that what's happening here? Let's go. What's up here? Uh, that's the hallway, I guess. What is my goal here? Okay, we'll head back down. What are you doing? <laughs> Looks like we've uh, collected up a bit of a entourage down here. Looks like they're deceived by the barred doors too. Oh, one of them was actually part of the POI. Ooh, headshot. Insta-kill. Let's do here. You know what? We got everything from this POI. We can go. Was this? No, that wasn't part of it, so it didn't get reset. Easy quest. Just a little far away. So we'll go ahead and sprint our way back. We'll have to keep an eye out in our little town area for any cracker books, because those will be insanely valuable. Well, apparently I didn't get this mailbox. It just has paper in it anyway. Machete. Mmm. Goob. Gotta love that strange splooge noise it makes when you collect a body. Nothing good in that truck. Just shamwich and oil. Brass radiator? I could sell that. Unless the brass itself is worth more. See, it scraps into 187. Yeah, the brass is worth more. Right. Now we know. Scrap the radiators even if you're going to sell them because the brass is better. Another mailbox? Yeah. Mmm. Mailbox flavor. Pistol schematic. I guess I'll learn it. For now. I also see a zombie in the distance. Want to use any excuse I can to test out this uh, new spear. The only downside to this weapon is that unlike the machete or the club, well, it's a shovel. Unlike those weapons, it's a pinpoint attack. You're not going to get glancing blows if you miss. It's a plus side and a downside. Ooh, tomatoes. Is that two bird's nests right next to each other? It is. Right under here. See if I can just sneak snog my way into those. Mm. Restop. At some point, I'll have to start crafting chicken coops at my base as well. Start producing the uh, closest thing we can to an infinite feather source for arrows. That also reminds me, what would it take for me to craft a crossbow? Crossbow. It just says bow crafting. I assume that's one of the perks I can get. This one takes repair kits. It's an iron one. Also takes repair kits. Ugh. Gross. Probably doesn't take as much in the bow crafting skill, though. I'm sure there's a way to run around and loot the schematic from something, but I don't know if I want to wait around for all that. And besides, if we're going to be specializing... Ooh, do you see that line right there? That line in the distance? That means my apple trees are on the way. They're doing their thing. That good old apple tree thing. Oh yeah, someone else had mentioned that, well, there's more boxes in here. I somehow just, I don't know, my mind refuses to pay attention to these boxes. But we'll go and grab them now. We can loot them, and then I think, if I am correct, every 10 days or some odd, they should just refresh themselves. This axe is so much better than using the stone axe. I might just 
abandon the stone axe. You can got a bottle of acid from here. Not bad. Could disassemble the cars here at the trader too. It's not a terrible idea. What else do we have here? More stone axes, building cubes, nails and metal. Well, we can ignore the rest then. Actually, we have an ammo pile. You know, we'll just finish up looting the trader now. And get the rest of these boxes too. More bottles of acid. Wow. Thought those were supposed to be rare. Then again, I am gradually increasing my salvaging skill. Ooh, a munitions box. A pipe baton in a munitions box. Where are you gonna fire that from? You got a pipe gun I don't know about? But not like an actual pipe gun, but like a gun that fires pipes? I'm down. That's the equivalent of, I think, 12 iron becoming one bullet. Sounds dope. So you can't loot any of this, or any of this, or the clothes stands. We'll say we're done for now. What you got, buddy? Iron helmet? I am tempted, but I'll probably pass. The crowbar is going to be valuable for breaking down, well, things and stuff. So we'll use that for now. Can you teach me any new recipes? I think that's new. Workbenches. Wait, what? Don't I already have workbenches? Let me check. I look at the menus here. I don't, but he can teach me how to workbench. And it's pretty cheap. It looks like... 200 dukes? Let's see if we can do it again. No, that's it. Um, not bad though. That's a fetch 99 meters away. Let's go get it. Actually, let's sell him a few things. I picked up a few wiring tools I don't need. This and that. Drop the animal poison. Won't be using it. Put the crowbar on my hotbar. So the ball cap mod. Won't be using that at all. See, it is a new day. What does he have for weapons? Anything fancy? No, just darts and ammo. He really doesn't want to sell us weapons. We could start getting water filters. Actually, no, we made a forge recently. During the night time, we'll set it up to craft more bottles and the like. What books does he have? Blood weapons, advanced pistol. We don't need any of this. We already have a wrench, so we don't need the schematic. A crucible. Mmm, we should save up for that if we can. There's no reason not to. As far as I know, you can only get that. Wait, actually, no, this is Darkness Falls. I do believe. Yeah, I can just craft one. All right, well, where's our quest? Oh, back this way. Well, off we go. Something else that might be worth investing in would probably be the pack mule perk. Now, in vanilla, you don't want to invest in this. It's not worth it. It's one point. This is also oh, this is two points. Yikes. We're gonna want it, though. Because you have such a large inventory in this mod, you end up needing all the pack mule and... Or maybe not all of pack mule, but you need some points in the pack mule. And then you need the tactical rigging and all the backpacks. There's just a lot of stuff and things. Another... Wait, this door doesn't even have an interactable... Oh, it does, but it's above. If I look at it here, I can't interact with it. That's very strange. But okay. This one's actually locked. Imagine. Locked doors. What's this? Behind the door? Stuck? Ha. Ah, nerd. Here, I'll help you out. Sounds like we're both, uh, vying for a fight here. Oh, the door is unlocked. It's so random. <laughs> These... Oh, man. These compo packs. I love them. Whoopsie. Did I accidentally stab you in the face? Sorry about that, cowboy. Let's go and scrap all this crap. Also unlocked. Let's take a peek inside. Just a desk and, well, nothing else. Anything behind the painting? No. Just a wall. Well, I guess it does count as something being behind the painting, but not what we were hoping for. Hmm. Should I beat my way to this door? Oh, damn. Okay, yeah. We gotta use this crowbar for breaking things more often. This is good. <laughs> this thing doesn't mess around. Check the garbage. Hmm. Actually has garbage. I think I found what we're looking for. I hear other zombies and such, but I'm busy. I'm just here to do my quest. Get my rewards and get out. Let's grab that yucca. Yucca flavor. So I think that means that the trees that I planted should be fully grown by next episode. No promises. Let's go ahead and wander our way back in here. And are you okay? Why would I not be okay? Hugh, why did you ask me that? Ah, oh, wooden bow. Wooden bow. That is tempting. But no, I'll pass. I'll take these generic schematics for now. And keep doing some quests. The fetches are fast, but also, I always forget that they're actually just fetches. I almost went and cleared that last building we were at. So, we'll go and do this clear, and get everything that we can out of the ordeal. Gonna do as much questing as I can while the sun is up, before the zombies start running. And then in the night time, I think we're going to be farming stone and clay. Probably more stone than clay, but still both of them. Potato. What is that? Is that a dog? Hmm. Methinks. I need that hide. We have one wolf and one zombie. We can handle that. Easy peasy. Your doggy. Gotta remember this thing has insane range. Yeah, two power attacks did the trick. Now we just collect the goodies. Twelve hide? Yummy. Eliminate the cheerleader, who was cheering for the doggo. 
you know, not part of the home team. Grab this Yuka. Piggy. Ooh, Piggy. He's got a green health bar. I gotta be careful with the power attacks. These things drain the crap out of your stamina. Could also be because I've been sprinting and I just dropped under 75 water, which means I have worse stamina recovery. Boom, apple tree. Gotta stop for all the food, you know? It's kind of like paying your taxes in Darkness Falls. See food, grab it, then you'll never have food problems. Go ahead and do this quest. I think I'm dilly-dallying a little too much. Hey, buddy, how's it going? What are you doing on the ground? Anything around I need to collect? Like bird's nests? Tasty, tasty bird's nests. Nah, go and activate the quest now. Did that bird nest come back? No. <laughs> All the trees grew by like one stage though. That's weird. Start raiding through this place. What is this? Oh no. This is gonna be a whole adventure, huh? It's called the Flintstone Residence. I didn't realize that. Why do I get the feeling there's a dinosaur somewhere in here? That's a janitor, not a dinosaur. If it's the Flintstone residence, there has to be a dinosaur. Hey, how come there's nobody at the register here to help me? I need service. Just take out a couple of these guys. Easy peasy. Just gotta make sure that they don't gang up on me. Oh, sounds like they're breaking walls over here. Oh, it's because they are, kind of. That was weird. I couldn't stab through the hole in the door. Couldn't shoot the barn side of a broad. Let's go ahead and crack this open. Bag of dried nuts. Drop the rest of this stuff. Actually, let me check. Where, oh, where did that pumpkin go? Here we go. Jack-o'-lantern pumpkin bread. Okay, yeah, it requires other things that I don't want. So I'll be ignoring pumpkins. Untouched vending machine has a lot of food in it. Damn. Peanuts. Not this. Drop it. Bag of dried fruit. Good old garbage. Um... Cobblestone? Now wait until I'm ready to craft it myself. Oh, this crap can just be left there. Sports bag has rotting flesh. Nice. Lots of shamway boxes. The player made POIs like this tend to be loaded with this stuff, but they also tend to throw more zombies at you. Can of baked beans? Yummy. It's in here. Can of sham? Don't need it. Trash. Collect it. And the rest of this can be dumped. This is literally just a closet. I see. Closet. Neat. What about over here? Also just a closet? Oh no, this leads upstairs. Neat. Let's collect that corpse. Finish up the first floor. Anything in here? Just those two zombies? Really? Coffee. Mm. Nah, I'll go for that when I need it. Mm. Fire tier stone ass. Tier 59. Seems like our loot stage is already getting okay-ish. Here's my wrench. Get this engine if we can. Uh, no, we just got a mechanical part. Not exactly what I was hoping for. Vehicles for dumb shits. That's me. I have dumb shit. What is this? Scrap iron? Can scrap it. Shovel. Bicycle handlebars. Nah, don't need it. Same thing with the wheels. Don't need that either. Ooh, that's, that's not what we're doing. We need a wrench. There we go. I was hoping to get mechanical parts from that, but I just got iron. Why? This should give mechanical parts. Yeah, there we go. I need those for repair kits. Now that we're doing Darkness Falls. Lockers. BDU top. And stone ass. Scrap it. Alright, we're done with the first floor. Back to the murder spree. Hello, I am here to murder. Would anybody like to... Oh, we have one. One customer. Who would like to receive one murder. Anyone in the bathroom? No, just me. Check the toilet. Just got some piss in the jar. Get a beans. You know, I should take these couches apart for the leather. It's a good idea. Would the crowbar do well for that? Yeah, it would. Oh, it just destroyed it. Okay, we'll use the fire ass then. It's probably the superior method. Oh dear. I really have to boost up... Well, everything. I need more levels and mining tool points. Miner 69er. I can just barely swing this uh, scrap iron fire ass while maintaining the exact amount of stamina that I started with. I've been at 52 and then bouncing down to 44 stamina for the entire time that I've been collecting this. But hey, we got about the equivalent of a bear's worth of hide. Can't go wrong with that now, can we? Ooh, drugs on the counter. Don't mind if I do. Weapons bag with weapon parts in it. I guess I could sell those. Some other crap. Some other other crap. One more cupboard. Potatoes. Take that. Drop the blueberries. Don't need blueberries. Not into it. Tank top. Oh, my scavenging went up. Neat. Bag of trail mix. That's convenient. Bunch a hole through this door. And, oh. I guess the quest is already done. I didn't even realize that. We already have a band oiler. I can sell this one. Scrap boots. I guess we could sell that. It is 60. Oh, man. This, this is gonna take a while. I don't want to do this. What if I use the fire ass? Is that gonna... Yeah. Just give me all the cloth. That's what I'm really after. I don't need as much as I did in vanilla with the sort of backtracking the Darkness Falls... Ooh, carrots. The sort of backtracking the Darkness Falls does with the duct tape update. Because they brought the 
cloth requirement for making duct tape, back down from ten, one cloth, one glue, like it should be, have a nice casual sprint back to the trader, and hope that our quest reward isn't garbage. Oh boy, I really gotta start drinking more water. Small update, apparently I can hold a bunch of bowls of water, like I'm, I've surpassed the 15 cap that I thought was there. That's apparently only for clay bowls. So you can hold a bunch of bowls of water, but you can't hold the like clean version. You can hold a bunch of bowls of murky water. That's what it is. Kind of like the dirty water with the jars. Leather leg armor. Well, less stamina reduction. I'm tempted. It is better than what I'm wearing now, but pump shotgun? Exqueezy? That sounds like Horde Knight material. I'll take it, thanks. I wanted to sell some things to him. The receiver, the steroids, the bend oiler, and the scrap boots. Here you go, chief. All you. Any other quests we want to do? Recipes? No. Quests. Nearly 400 meters and it's another clear. Might as well. Just a bit of a sprint before the sun completely falls. But first, we're going to visit our base and get some good old moisture. Hmm, moisture. Do we? Oh no. We have to cook some bowls of water. Guess we'll put all of this in a chest. Except for the yucca. Keep that around for convenience. We need fuel. You own all this water cooking here. So we just ran out of fuel. Where's the wood? Here we are. Put 200 in here. We'll call it good. Cook up the clean water and the bowls of water. The wood back here. You know what? We are going to convert our sand into empty jars real quick. Yes, apple trees. Grow. Grow. Raise these hatches. Head on down here and start crafting some empty jars. Hey, Forge. It's been a while. Ah, you need fuel too. Everything needs fuel. Put this in here. I guess the first thing we should do is craft an anvil. And then when that's done, empty jars. 40 of them. That should do for now. Just for now, though. We're gonna need more, for sure. Bars. Now let's go do that quest before the sun falls. I was hoping to stack back up on some moisture before that happened. Hey, what are you doing? This is my place. Can't be here. <laughs> Interesting. I like how the power attack, even if it doesn't really, like, send them flying, it just makes them fall over. They just kind of give up after, like, one hit to the face. Dazed and confused. Lights are on. Nobody's home. Oh, dear. That's gonna take a while. Yeah, we'll just do the quest first. Then we'll come back for more water. Probably would have been a good idea to dump some things in the chest, but, well... Action. Consequence. Speed run this little bit, then get back to collecting stone and such for the cobblestone. We'll be needing it. Day 5 is the first day where we start building our horde base, which I think is going to be a sort of ladder base. Maybe. I'm not sure. Actually, if I'm using this spear, it should be on the ground. Probably just a standard melee base. We can get complicated after that's done. We'll do ladders to get up to the melee part. Should keep them from attacking with ranged attacks, the spit, and the fireballs. There will be fireballs. Eventually. But the hope is to avoid that. If they can't see a direct, or if they don't have a direct line of sight to you, they usually can't shoot any projectiles. Which is the important part. We don't want them spitting at us. At all. No spit. That is nasty. Not into it. Nope. And all law and order has been disassembled from this particular world, so it's not like I can lawyer up against them now, is it? Little yellow house. Well, here we go. No food on the lawn. Well, actually, what's this? The blueberries? No, it's just really green bushes. They are super vibrant. Whoever was maintaining those is doing a damn good job. Locked door. I guess we'll come in through here then. Boop. Hello. Oh. Oh man, my frame rate is just dying. We do it in the garage. You guys got asbestos in here? You clearing that out? Is that what the hazmat suit is for? Cardboard boxes. Chrysanthemum don't care. Cardboard box. Red dye. Sure. You know what? We're gonna have a red spear. Oh, it basically just dyed the cloth. <laughs> that is my handle. Understood. More red dye? Okay, I guess everything is red. We can have a red mask. See that? Yeah. Look at me. Little red riding hood. Beautiful. Now let's go ahead and plow through the rest of this. I just had the Skyrim marker there, actually. Does that mean that this is the last spot? <laughs> it's just definitely a player made POI. Sounds like everything just kind of woke up. What's in the toilet? More turds. Amazing. I hear a zombie doing zombie things. Oh, here we are. A doctor and this. Oh yeah, you guys are definitely here for the asbestos, huh? Well, now you don't have to worry about that, because you're dead. Hooray. Let's go ahead and just get the cloth from this bed. Ooh, cloth flavor. Now there were safes, like this one. The only part that... Oh, never mind. Ha ha ha. Ha 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 ha. I 
I'm running out of stamina very quickly doing this. I'll be right back after I punch this safe. The safe has been effectively punched. And it's empty. It's... Are you kidding me right now? Are you kidding? It's an empty safe? You're gonna just do me like that? Just an empty safe? Dishwasher. Never seen these before. Eat. Let's get the cupboards for any potential water. Flour. Potatoes. Yeast. Let's take the potatoes. Corn. Yeast. I mean flour. One of the two. Got some piss in a jar. Cornmeal. Nah, I'm good. Cooking grill. I already have one of these. Bye bye. Guess I'll learn how to make aloe vera. Ooh, scavenging increased. That's good. Chrysanthemum. You know what? Let's see if I can make this special drink with this. I have that recipe yet? No? Okay, we'll drop it then. Not interested. More flour. These batches here, like these kitchens with loads of different cupboards, you should definitely crack them open when you get the opportunity in Darkness Falls. Because you will get a boatload of scavenging XP very quickly. I don't know if the object that you crack open affects the XP for the scavenging skill, but I definitely know that cracking open a bunch of small objects is plenty fast. Man, this crowbar takes a lot of stamina. That was just a pipe shotgun, not well enough to keep around. I'm actually getting a lot of iron from this. I'm at plus 38. If I hit this once, plus one. Oh, maybe I was wrong. Maybe that was from something else I probably... Oh, right from scrapping the pipe shotgun. Yeah, makes sense. This thing does 300 damage per hit, which is pretty good. Another pipe shotgun, but with magnum. Uh, I see. See, that's why you've got this paranoid safe, but, you know, you're not alive anymore, because whoever owned this house didn't know that you couldn't put magnum bullets inside of a shotgun. We had our fun here. Let's go ahead and head back to the trader. How's that looking? Yeah, it's almost nighttime. Whoa, where did you come from? I feel like you weren't there just a second ago. But that's A-OK. -okay. Because now you're just XP. All for me. Have a nice little jog back home, and get ready to start digging dig for our lives. Suppose we'll take that corpse and this one. Ooh, interesting. I've developed a sense for it. If I power attack at a zombie's head and I get a lag spike, it means they're dead. What is up, my dude? Ooh, there we go. That one wasn't as bad, but still a lag spike. I don't know, maybe it's a... Maybe I installed Darkness Falls wrong. Oh, that one was pretty clean, and he's got a floppy head. Yeah, very flexible. Ooh, what? Stop hissing at me. How did that hit her leg? <laughs> Excuse me? All right, well, not gonna pretend to understand it. As with any good bug, the best bet is to simply not look directly at it. Yeah, definitely turn this in and then start. Looks like gathering clay is going to be the objective, so we're going to have to stealth and then punch the ground with our shovel fist. Hello, you. I'm done murdering that batch of whatever that you wanted murdered. Iron sledgehammer? Not happening. Advanced pistol? Ooh, a gun. Starting to get something for all different kinds of ammo. And quests. We'll wait for tomorrow's quests. I just want to clear up enough of his stuff to get the bicycle. Or maybe Darkness Falls kept it as the motorbike. I guess we'll see. But I want a bicycle, and I want to ride it. Once we have a better form of travel, we can start considering doing further quests, or different quests at least. Let's go ahead and cook up some clean water, or you could use we could. Nah, that's better for food. Bacon and eggs, just cook up everything. I'm not going to be making any actual meals for a while. The only thing I'll keep is the meat, because it's harder to get than everything else. Let's also cook up the clean water too. And then just get to chugging away at this stuff. Water. It's moist. It's wet. And it's refreshing. And it takes forever to just, can, I, can I just consume 10 at a time? Is that possible? That would be nice. That should definitely be more than enough. Now let's take a moment to consume some other stuff. Those two should be enough for the food. Grow trees. Grow to your heart's content. Now we need dirt this time, which means we probably don't want to go below there. That'll just reduce the durability of the ground around us. So we'll be doing it out here. Just out in this area. Should I make a scrap iron shovel? Probably. I have the stamina for it, and I probably have the resources for it. Shovel. Scrap iron shovel. We'll try it. Just a little bit of leather. Nothing too bad. Because it only takes generic iron to repair, it's far more tolerable than, well, many other things. Because basically everything past the scrap iron tier will start requiring huh, repair kits. Oh, I just got a mining level up. How's that looking so far? Miner 69er. We need six more levels for the next upgrade. Goody. We're gonna make a sort of underground area. Just like one layer underneath the first layer of dirt. So that we can get to the softer dirt. Because this 
first layer has 250 health, but the layer underneath it, as you can see, has 200. So obviously, it's better to take that on instead of the top layer. Just takes more hits to crush the thing. Ah, there's our shovel. Scrap the stone one and grab this. How's that looking? Yeah, that does quite a bit more damage. At least I think. Yeah, yeah, that's good. It's only three hits for the 200 health dirt. That's the goal. Just gotta keep moving to get our athletics levels. And, of course, get the crap out of this dirt. We're gonna have to be careful because the zombies may, in fact, just start punching holes in the ground to get to us. So, all we can really do is just hope that we can murder them before they murder us. Although technically they're zombies, so I think they've already been murdered. Can you murder something that's already dead? I'll have to ask a lawyer. But for now, me thinks it's going to be time for a time lapse. I'll see you when the sun comes up. the morning ring-a-ding-dong. <laughs> and of course, there's just a horde hanging around my general area. I was making a lot of noise, after all. Made a nice little tunnel. Even had to make a torch because it got so damn dark. But this is the end of episode four of the Darkness Falls series. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next episode. But for now, hey, leave me alone, lady. Goodbye.